Now in this question we're given that y equals 2 to the power x and told that this is exactly the same as e to the power x multiplied by the natural log of 2. And on that basis we're asked to find dy dx. So, how do we do that? Well, we should know that if we have any value of e to the power of a constant times x, ax in other words, let's just put it over here, y equals e to the power ax, where a is a constant, and a is the natural log of 2, that's a constant. We should know that by differentiating this, we get a e to the ax. It's a standard result. So if that's the case then, the a is going to be the natural log of 2, and so we would have the natural log of 2, I'll put that in brackets, multiplied by e to the ax, so that would be e to the x natural log of 2. Now I don't like that in that position actually, if I removed the brackets it would look ambiguous, it would look as if it's the natural log of 2e to the x natural log of 2. So it's better to move that natural log of 2 to the end here. So what we have then is e to the x natural log of 2 multiplied by the natural log of 2. Now e to the x natural log of 2 as you can see is up here and that was the same as 2 to the power x. So I'm going to change that then to 2 to the power x natural log of 2. And that gives us dy dx then in terms of x. OK, we move on now to part b. And in part b we're given that y equals 2 to the power x squared and asked to find dy by dx. Now in order to do this I'm going to use the chain rule. I'm going to say that this x squared here is going to be my value t say. Okay I'll just highlight that there, that, that value there I'm going to make t. So if I'm using the chain rule, and just to remind you what the chain rule is, that it is dy dx is equal to dy by dt multiplied by dt by dx. So if I'm letting t equal x squared, then I've got y equals 2 to the power t. I'll put that down here, that y would equal 2 to the power t. And I need dy by dt. So dy by dt, okay, by using the result up here, you can see that 2 to the power t, okay, I'm making the x the t here, would result in 2 to the power t natural log of 2. Alright, so that would be 2 to the power t natural log of 2. So that's my dy by dt. And I know that t, okay, is really x squared. So this is going to result in 2x squared natural log of 2. So I'm going to write that part in here as dy by dt. So we have 2 to the power x squared natural log of 2. So that then is dy by t. Now all I need to do is multiply that result by dt by dx. And I know that t equals x squared. Okay, so we'll just put that up there that t equaled x squared. And dt by dx, we can put it down here if you like, dt dx is going to equal 2x. So that result, 2x, follows dy by dt in this statement over here. So I would multiply all of this by 2x. Alright, so we have dy dt multiplied by dt dx. 
the chain rule. We now have to actually put when x is 2 into this. So we we'll just say that when x is 2, we have the result that dy by dx is going to equal 2 to the power of 2 squared. Well, 2 squared is 4, and 2 to the power of 4 is going to be 16. So you've got 16 there. Then you have the natural log of 2, and all of that is multiplied by 2 times another 2, which is 4. Cleaning this up, you then have 16 times 4, which is 64, multiplied by the natural log of 2. And that brings us then to the end of part B, and in fact to the end of this question.